Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to go ahead and cook a whole meal. Uh, we're going to be using two eight quart deep camp ovens and this lodge cast iron combo cooker and some other little gadgets. We're going to start this cook by adding some braising vegetables to the camp oven. We're going to be using carrots, white onion, red bell pepper, garlic, jalapeno, and your favorite dark sugar. We'll have a full list of the uh, ingredients over on the uh, website. Using pork spare ribs today. We've got two slabs that we've cut into about four bone sections. We put our favorite dry rub on them and marinated them overnight. And we're just shingling them in here on top of the braising vegetables. We want to keep them out of that liquid if we can. And we're putting them all in here bone side down. And it's going to fill this oven up, but that. The braising vegetables will cook down and everything will fit in there just fine. We're going to start these ribs out with nine coals on the bottom and 15 or 16 coals on the top. After the first hour, we're going to get into the oven here and just check, make sure that these ribs are cooking evenly and none of them are down in that liquid. You can notice here that the, they have dropped down a little bit because those vegetables are starting to cook down in the bottom of the pan. We're just checking to make sure that they're cooking even and we'll rearrange them if we need to. But we're going to start a whole new set of coals on here in a minute. Which you want to get these coals started, you know, about 20 minutes before you think you need them. And today we were going through the coals in about an hour. Well, after we got this cook started, the wind really picked up. So we decided to bring the coal count on the bottom up to 12 and up to 16 on the top. But the wind was just blowing the heat off the oven. We've already passed the second hour here. Now we're going to get this other oven going. We're going to cook some corn in it. We got a condiment cup with water in it and a little coffee can spacer we made. And we're going to put a trivet on top of that. Then we're going to put some uh, corn on the cob in here. And then we'll put that cast iron pan on top of this oven here. We did set that pan on the other oven about 20 minutes ago just to get it pre-warmed up. We're going to run about 16 coals on the bottom of this oven and 16 on the top because we just want a real quick hot cook. And, and we're even going to throw a couple extras inside that coffee can space there for that can of potatoes to cook on. Here I'm going to take a probe thermometer and just check the ribs to see what the temperature is in there. They're actually done at this point. You can see the you know, bones are sticking out because the meat is shrunk up. And we're going to cook them for another hour because we want to get a little bit more bark on these ribs. So we're going to basically stand them up in the pan here and so they're more exposed to the top heat. And we have never added any liquid to this uh, oven here at all. We're 
going to add 16 new coals to the top of the oven here with the ribs in it. And we're not going to put any coals on the bottom. The coals on the bottom are already dead and we don't need to add any more. Everything in this oven's already cooked. We're just trying to put a little bark on those ribs. Three hours have passed and we've got this cook finished. These potatoes, as you can see, are tender and ready. ribs are falling off the bone tender and they got a nice bark on them so we're going to get this thing plated up. Here's a technique to get the corn out of the husk. Uh, just cut the head of it off and you should be able to squeeze the top right out of there without any silk on it. 